This presentation is about the usage of pseudo-rigid body models for the analysis and design of compliant mechanisms at the Design Innovation and Simulation Lab at The Ohio State University. Contact Dr. Hai Jin Su for more details. Pseudo-rigid body models, shortened to PRB models, are numerical representations of compliant elements. They capture the stiffness and kinematic properties of flexible members using springs and rigid body links respectively. Many PRB models have been developed for various applications by researchers over the past two decades. The figure on the right shows a compliant slider mechanism and its PRB representation. Using PRB models, it is possible to develop an intuitive understanding of compliant mechanisms based on rigid body fundamentals. The figure on the left shows a compliant flapping mechanism for a micro air vehicle fabricated at DISL using the method of shape deposition manufacturing. The mechanism consists of many small soft joints and requires minimal assembly. It also has an electric motor and carbon fiber rods embedded in it. Larger variations of similar soft joints are shown in the figure on the right. The figure in the center shows two parallel guiding mechanisms of very Yes, dimensions. However, due to the change in the material of the beams, their stiffness is similar as verified by experiments. These are some applications of different kinds of soft joints. Our aim is to come up with models that accurately predict the behavior of similar compliant elements. Using PRB models is a computationally inexpensive approach to achieve this task as compared to using beam theory or finite element analysis. While it may not be immediately obvious, most compliant mechanisms take advantage of beam-like elements for achieving the required motion. Examples of this can be seen in the three figures shown here. Note that the beams shown here are of varying geometry and function. A beam theory approach is needed that covers all these geometries. We have developed a modified set of equations for Timoshenko's beam theory incorporating extension and Poisson's effects in addition to shear effects. A cantilever beam undergoing bending, shear and extension is shown in the figure on the right. The beam equations were dimensionless to facilitate scaling for different applications. The two graphs show the change in extension in the beam as the beam geometry is varied from thin beams to thick beams. A general formulation of the PRB model is necessary for use in different conditions. Torsion and extension springs are used to represent the beam stiffness. It is also necessary to express this in a mathematical form that can be used for design optimization. The PRB matrix omega provides such a format. As mentioned earlier, dimensionless parameters are critical for scaling the results and avoiding case-dependent values. The parameter optimization step is used to determine the best PRB values of a given model that minimize the estimation error over a large range of loading cases. Load independent values are desired since this would make it physically realistic and implementable in multi-body dynamics packages such as MSE, Adams or Simulink. The error is calculated by comparing tip deflection obtained from PRB method against beam theory results. The objective function is chosen to be the mean of the error values over a large range of loads. As an example, let us consider the robotic finger shown here. It has two soft joints and two rigid segments and is actuated by cables with forces A1 and A2. The rigid segments make contact with the object being grasped at two points with normal forces Fn1 and Fn2. To use the PRB model approach to analyze this finger, we must first determine the optimal PRB parameters of the PRB model shown in the inset. As shown in the contour plot, the error is low, below 2% for a large range of loads. Using the principle of virtual work, the force displacement relationship of the finger is calculated using the PRB model and compared against FEA results. The graph clearly shows that the newly developed RPR model is very close to the FEA results. On the other hand, the 3R model, which is highly accurate for long beams, fails to capture this behavior satisfactorily. Using the beam theory results and the optimization framework for PRB models, it is possible to study the effect of beam geometry on the accuracy of PRB models and determine which PRB models are suited for certain applications. 
the role of extension springs in reducing the error due to extension in short beams is demonstrated here. Conventional PRB models without extension springs are not suited for applications with short beams as shown in the graph. The RPR and the RP models, both having extension springs, show much better performance for such applications. The understanding of PRB models, the optimization framework, and the beam theory approach go towards the ultimate goal of this research, which is the design optimization of compliant mechanisms using the pseudo-rigid body model concept. As shown in the schematic, it is possible to convert an existing design into its PRB format and then optimize the PRB model for required performance objectives. The optimized model can then be converted back into its compliant mechanism form. This idea has already been demonstrated using the example of a flapping mechanism for a micro air vehicle. <coughs> using a dynamic model complete with a suitable aerodynamic calculation of lift and drag and a DC motor, the mechanism parameters were optimized to reduce the power requirements of the system. This method will also be adapted for use in various other applications. This work was sponsored by the Air Force Office of Scientific Research and the National Science Foundation. For queries, contact Dr. Hyjin Su at su.298 at osu.edu.